Welcome to day 152 of the 300 Movie Challenge. Today, we watched the highest grossing film of January 2007, which was Epic Movie. And, it was not epic. And, be- no. and my voice is still sounds like shit, and that's because Julie's still here, and <laughs> because I'm a horrible person and I made her watch this. On my birthday weekend. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> I traveled for eight hours on a bus for this shit. <laughs> I thought you loved me. I do love you. <laughs> so, um, like, what do we? I, I guess... don't know. What do we say about this? I guess it was trying to be like scary movie. Yeah. Except I actually had to check. I was like, wait, are these? Is this made by the same people? And it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Because it seemed like the quality was noticeably worse. Yeah. Yeah. Scary movie. At least the effects were like, kind of, like. They were so corny that they were okay. Yeah, they were. They were going for corniness and stuff. But here, it was like, the beaver was obviously a puppet and everything. Or like a robot thing. Yeah. Like, I'm not even sure, it just looked kind of horrifying. Like, everything in this movie looked kind of horrifying. And it's not a scary movie! (laughs) And, like, here, okay. Maybe I've become desensitized through all this shit we've had to see. I didn't hate this as much as I thought I would. Because this is, like, infamously horrible. And it's really bad. But, like, I wouldn't even- I wouldn't even put this in the bottom ten. I don't think it's in the bottom ten. It's in, like, the bottom category, but- Yeah. yeah. It's not- we have seen worse, like- if we were to name movies, we would still name this movie instead of the other movie that we will never name ever again. Yeah. Yeah. But... So, I don't know, have we just seen so much crap that, like, this is just, like, the top of the crap? I mean, the only thing for me is that, like, I feel like when watching this, it's like, they were trying to be bad. And like, oh, look, look how, like, stupid we are, or whatever, and it's like, I I don't know, I feel like I got more angry at movies that, like, you know, thought they were trying harder or something, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of thought that they were trying too hard to be edgy. I don't know. That's just me, I... (laughs) I I don't know why, like, the Willy Wonka part was, like, the beginning. Yeah, that's completely unrelated to anything else that happened. Because I thought the whole thing at the end was going to be, they were going to come out of the wardrobe and Wonka would be right there and, like, kidnap them and that's it. So it's, like, kind of a tie-in or whatever. But, no, he's just completely irrelevant. So it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. Even at least the scary movie, even Scary Movie 4, which was the worst one, they at least, like, ki- tied things together. Yeah. It was super forced, <laughs> but at so least they did. It's so sad to say that Scary Movie 4 actually has a decent, like, plot arc for, like, what it's working with. Yeah. It's so sad to say that. It seems more so that they were trying to just put as many references as possible. But then, I guess, I think they were actually trying, though, because if you genuinely wanted to be bad, you would have went really crazy with it. But they actually tried to put, like, as many things as possible into this. Why the heck did they choose Nacho Libre? I don't know. I mean, look, if you put, like, a fucking parody of, like, MTV Cribs, I mean, like, do you really think you're making a good movie? Like... Well, not like that. I think it was more so, like, they wanted to... Like, scary movie we know is not a good movie. In any sense. But it's kind of like, they didn't expect it to get the... 17 percent on Rotten Tomato, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, no, it's 17 on Metacritic. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's 2%. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even worse. 
<laughs> so well, I don't the think thing. they were. I, I don't think this is quite two percent bad. I don't know. Like, there's, I, I, there's nothing good in it, but I wasn't like super angry at something. I don't know. It was just stupid. I was just jaded and annoyed, and that that's probably the best way I can describe it. I was jaded and annoyed. <laughs> I feel like the, then in that sense it is kind of a 2 percent rating, because you couldn't even get angry at it because it was that forgettable. I mean, I'd rather watch something forgettable than something piss me off. <laughs> I don't know, what do, you, what do you have to say, Missy? <clears throat> I feel like one of the things that kind of threw me off was the fact, because, like, obviously Epic Movie is like, oh yeah, like, the beginning made it obvious, like, it's parodying a bunch of movies. And then once it got past the wardrobe, you're just like, alright, we're following one storyline. And then it went back to, like, yeah, trying to true. fit in a bunch of stuff at the end, and I was like, what the hell is happening? Like, you either do it so it's all a bunch of little segments, or you do it so it's parodying, parodying maybe one movie and having a bunch of subtle references, or maybe not so subtle references, to other movies. Not fucking, like, pull out a remote from Click at, like, the begin- like, the, like, random, like, quote-unquote climax of yeah, the Yeah, that, that was, was pretty so annoying. Disjointed. Yeah, that's actually true, because, like, yeah. In in the first part, they do kind of jump from one thing to the next to the next. You're like, okay, at least it has like some speed to it, and you might at least see something so fucking stupid it's entertaining. But then it's basically just like, okay, now we're just doing Narnia with references. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, that was kind of, you know, random Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, random albino dude from the Da Vinci Code. Random remote, random. I don't know. Yeah, it's like Harry I, Potter. Yeah, it's like it's like shit. Yeah, why just, did they put Harry Potter you know, in? It's shit that just happens and then goes away, and it's like you know, it's just yeah. And I feel like maybe some of the offense might come from like, for example, the only times I saw Valen get genuinely angry was when they were making the Star Wars jokes. <laughs> so I'm sure people oh. who actually enjoyed the movies being referenced are just like, "Fuck you! How dare you!" And then they like get really angry for the rest of the movie. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... Like, obviously you're watching this knowing, like, maybe, hopefully, taking it with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, obviously I'm, if if I'm already getting the sense that they're making fun of popular movies, yeah, because I was sitting there waiting for the Harry Potter reference at some point. <laughs> but, like, it, I don't know. Maybe, I, I'm just thinking in layman's terms, but you guys have watched so much literal shit, then <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at it more than just the general, like, this movie was fucking awful. Burn it with fire. Is this the worst movie you've ever seen? Probably, but I don't watch that many movies regardless, so this this is... Like... I don't know, like, if you're... I don't know how to describe it, like, it's just like... I have so few, like, quote-unquote good movies to compare it with that this one just, like, stands out as, like, one of the worst hour and a half I've had to experience. <laughs> <laughs> So then how does it make you feel that we say it's like not even in our top or like bottom ten worst? Uh I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like depends on I guess it depends on like how quote unquote bad the other movies are. Like, are they bad because they're just stupid? Are they bad because they're poorly made? Are they bad because they're, they're like uh like is it bad because it's, like, trying to, like, present a premise to you that you don't agree with or that just you find, like, personally, like, ups like revolting, you know? Like, it's like, oh, we're making fun of the KKK, but it's, like, under underpinnings of, like, yeah, dude, they're cool, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, like, that movie you would fucking hate just because of, like, what it stands what it for. Is, yeah. Right. You know, versus, yeah. like, because it was shitty or it was terrible writing or whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure we are, all of our bottom tens are at least somewhat different, but, um, I think, like, general for me is just, like, if they do something in the movie either, I don't know if it's so much a premise, but if it's something more, like, again, like, characters or writing or, like, plot actions that are just, like, so agonizingly pathetically stupid and or rage inducingly horrible like i think that's the main thing for me is just like if people are just so fucking shitty in the movie like i think that's the main thing i don't and everyone here was just stupid 
it, they, you know, I don't know. It was that was how I see it, and it's like stupid is better than shitty. I guess I just <laughs> generally have a low tolerance for stupid. I it's yeah, I also have a very low tolerance for stupid. Yeah. I guess the thing is, I don't have enough patience to deal with it. I'm just like, just go. I guess explode. <laughs> This, this this whole movie, I guess, I would just describe it as a big old meme explosion. It's just bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, it's funny because it's cringy, and I'm like, I have a very low cringe threshold, so all of this was literally, like, my whole back hurts just from, like, how much I cringed at this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like it was supposed to just be, like, one of those, like, like a throwaway movie that like stupid teenagers watch together yeah. at a party. I'm kind of referencing something that happened to me and Tara like a long time oh, ago. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was also a pretty awful movie. Because um, I mean, I guess that's kind of the thing. Like, I, I kind of get the whole like when you get older, you look back on your teenage years and you're like, oh fuck, why did I hang out with those people? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I let them subject me to this? Because I, uh, I think back to it, I'm just like, this reminds me of that time in my life. And if I get like flashbacks of that time in my life, I'm just like, it's going in the bottom category no matter what happens. Yeah, that's fair. I just have an extremely low tolerance for like stupid things or really pretentious things, or of course like things that are offensive. But yeah. I guess stupid and pretentious are kind of like the things that kind of make me irrationally um, put something below, I guess, like a Scary Movie 3, for example. Because compared to this movie, I liked Scary Movie 3. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to, like, say, pick one or the other, I'd be like, I'll watch Scary Movie 3 again. I'll watch the lady explode during the funeral again. <laughs> oh, I forgot <laughs> that happened. came into the room. And oh, I was yeah. like, why is there a funeral? <laughs> and then you left, and then you came back, and you're just like, I just came back to an explosion, and I have no <laughs> idea what happened. Uh -huh. So for, for like that reason, I'm just like, I, of I the two. Referencing Scary Movie 3, though, at least Scary Movie 3 kind of embraced some of the stupidity of some of the movies that it was parroting, like, the right. science. Signs. I mean, signs is, like, really easy to make fun of. But here they didn't really point out anything, like, silly or stupid in any of these films. Like, they they kind of just parried them for the no, sake yeah, of No, yeah, they, they did out. stupid shit in that movie's aesthetic, but they didn't actually, like, use the aesthetic for the stupid thing. Yeah. 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 Like, for example, why didn't they, like, reference um, the Time Turner scene from Harry Potter where we were just like, eh? Or why didn't they do, like, Hermione punching Draco in the face? Like, that would be funny. I know, right? especially with all the freaking slapstick, like, that was happening. Yeah, yeah why not have it. Hermione punch Draco and be like, oh, yeah, uh, or like smart punch, or crazy. Or, or punch one of the, the four main guys instead in, like, the same manner or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that would be funny. I was, like, waiting for, like, the slug vomiting scene or some shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that They didn't even reference, like, the most famous line with where, like, Hagrid is like, you're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, what the like, heck? Like, something like that. <laughs> they missed all of the good parodying parts of Harry Potter. Yeah, they just put everyone in, like, cosplay and they're like, pretend to be just Harry. Just be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then for stupid. like Da Vinci Code, even they didn't really like. They did like nothing with that. There's just the, yeah. the albino guy is just there and fights people. Like that's it. <laughs> but it's just like there's more things to like make fun of other than Tom Hanks's hair. Even though Tom Hanks's hair was definitely the one of the <laughs> weirder. One hairs. of the more questionable parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I'm surprised they. Like, since they made fun of, like, Nacho Libre, I was like, why didn't they just... Why didn't they also make fun of, like, the um, the professor guy from Da Vinci Code? Because he was, like, physically disabled. I don't know. Since making fun of disabled people is funny! Yay! Yeah. Uh, the, Trash humans. Like, the and only... Then, oh, actually, oh. speaking... Go ahead. Speaking of that, too. They didn't do anything with X-Men, either. 
Oh yeah, they really did nothing with them. Yeah, literally. It was so weird. I was waiting for more. They're just like, oh, here's Mystique and she's hot, and like, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I okay, so I think I understand what this movie was doing. It wanted a platform to put a lot of sex jokes and not do anything with the actual content. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Trash! 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 The, Trash. There is one good thing about this movie. Pretty it's cool. short. It was short, and it actually didn't, like, feel... It did feel like it's length. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Like, Bridget Jones's diary was 90 minutes, felt like three hours. This was like, it was 90 minutes, and yeah, it pretty much felt like 90 minutes. I wish it felt shorter, though. Yes, that's fair. But, but <laughs> it, it could have been felt, an hour long. It could have felt, like it, it felt three hours long, and it didn't. That yeah. is true, yeah. So it's that's... not Interview with a Vampire, that's for sure. Oh, God. Yeah, that's like I the guess... one advantage it has. I guess on that note, my, if it's gory, that's also a big, humongous no. Big X for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think, is that it for this movie? Yeah. Closing Let's move on to greener pastures. Yeah, I don't even know what's next. I don't care. It's gonna be better than this. Yeah. Oh, um, it'll be, uh, interesting. Wait. Is it... Is it two words? Yeah. And... Wait, what is it? You watch the nostalgia I Okay, I do know what... Okay, this... I actually... Oh, oh, I actually I kind of want to see this just again for, like, how ridiculous The actor. Is. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, okay, we'll get to that next time, but for now... <laughs> Greener pastures. Julie? Yeah? Any last Any... words? Yes, hate... closing remarks. Um, all of my rage. I did not like what I just had to endure. Only because it was like the, the brain equivalent of somebody just like... Use, trying to give you like a lobotomy while you're awake. Ooh. They tried to make something good and instead they made something literally awful like terrifyingly awful i don't this uh, like again i'm not a movie watcher at all so it kind of ruined my faith in movies well so, let's see if <laughs> oh, we actually no. <laughs> our faith is gone for a long time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well this is all your fault i know <laughs> thank, well oh. thank you for joining us while you did um, yes you're not welcome okay um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you back for the next movie with, uh, Julie will not be here anymore. No. So, yes. sorry. But, I guess, yeah. So that's where we'll be next time. Bye, I guess. <laughs> bye. Bye. Okay, bye.